What is going on guys? It's Fatal Day bringing you guys a video. We're doing gyro settings on Fortnite with the PS5 controller. So let's go ahead and get in this video. So if you haven't already guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always. So right now we're doing something called gyro aiming. So gyro aiming, what it essentially does is basically gives you the option to basically move your aim with the controller. Um, I think this is a great feature. I think this is really something to uh, definitely help and benefit controller players as myself. I'm used to playing a scuff controller. So this is what I play right now with an Xbox scuff controller. So I've never used a PS5 controller. I've played a little bit with a PS4 controller, but never a PS5 one, obviously. And I bought a PS5 controller. You do have to have, as you can see, a PS4 or PS5 to activate the gyro. Now, the settings we're going to go over right here are what I personally use. Um, and then we're going to hop into a solos match and kind of see what it's all about and see how well it works. So let's see here. I'm gonna put it on solo, and then we're gonna go check my settings here. So, um, of course, settings are kind of personal preference. You know, they're kind of up to you guys and everything like that. It's it's gonna be different for everybody. So, for instance, obviously you'll turn gyro aiming on for once, uh, or for first. So second, I won't. So for the act active mode is basically when essentially does it activate? When is gyro aiming where you can use it? Uh, essentially, I would put that on scope and aiming, and for building, I would put that on editing. The reason I say that is, um, I don't want to just be gyroing all the time, so to speak. So, look stick effect. Um, so, that guy, I wouldn't mess with that. I've seen some videos where I, I wouldn't mess with that. I would just leave that in none for now. Sensitivity is actually pretty good. Um, this is your acceleration. Um, I would probably keep this on medium. <clears throat> I wouldn't go anything like high or low. I'd kind of keep that in the middle just for, so to speak, for now. Again, gyro settings is new, and it's new for everybody, and it comes down to personal preference. So, that being said, flick stick. Now, flick stick, I know you guys have probably seen videos or how it can work, how you can just do a complete 180, 360, whatever, around and shoot someone. Um, it's not going to work like that. The settings, I've already tried them. I would definitely not turn that on unless you just want to enable gyro at all times, and that's going to be a little confusing at first Get to get going. So, I would I would ease that in and not say uh, use use that for now. Again, personal preference though. So secondly, I advanced gyro settings, so I have the options, I have those on. Personally, I've kind of let all of them just stay on standard and where they're at. I've not messed with them. Um, again, this is all personal preference. You can tweak it to your liking. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into a game. We're gonna see how well it works and how exactly it affects my gameplay. And you guys can check how it would affect your gameplay. All right, guys, now that we're in here in the game, in pre-game lobby, you can kind of see how so this affects. So if you can see me moving my controller, that's all the aim. I'm not moving my analog stick whatsoever. And obviously, you can use the analog stick as well as you're using gyro aiming. Now, I really think this is a really good feature because I think it's going to help with more precise aim. It's just going to take some time to get, uh, you know, down pat for any everybody. But we're going to try this. We're going to try the gyro aiming. See how it works out. See how it helps out. I will go ahead and say that it, it without a doubt, it definitely helps for uh, editing. Um, I'm someone who, I would say I'm a pretty average person who can edit pretty decently fast. Uh, I never, I used to be terrible at it. But now I will say with just the gyro aiming active already, I can already edit way faster than I used to. Obviously, moving the controller, those precise little key increments really help out when you're in the midst of doing you know you're aiming or you're building or anything so to speak with the gyro aiming um i am new to the ps5 controller i don't normally play ps4 or ps5 controller I play xbox controller so i am a little bit out of my comfort zone with this so it, it may take a bit for me to get used to it but we're going to kind of use this in a game and we're just going to see how well it helps and we're, we'll, we'll mess with the builds and stuff like that and everything like that just try to get a full sense of it when did they add a boombo that boombo is back. Okay. Awesome. There's a llama outside. Alright, so we got that. Take this half off. I mean, that's kind of cool. I mean, like, so if I go to aim in, I can sit there and move that with just holding the left trigger. SMG. Okay. 
Okay, that's kind of cool. Look, guys, I know this is new, and I'm not trying to, like, oh my gosh, it's the best thing ever. But I tilted my controller accidentally and got that headshot. That was an accidental tilt, and that got that headshot. I can see how this would mess up someone's game, but I can also see how it would save them in a fight. Like, that was... That was insane. And I'll have to say, um, I mean, maybe it's because my scuff controller is kind of used and stuff whatnot. And did I put it on solos, or did I put it on boombo only? Anyways, so, like, uh, I will say, like, this PS4, or PS5 controller, excuse me, feels way smoother than my scuff. Now, I know the Scuf was a high, a really expensive controller. The uh, I do have links in the description, by the way, of my videos if you guys want a PS5 controller. See pricing uh, for Amazon, which is where I got this one. It was about 70 even. Um, I may have overpaid a little bit. I understand that, but it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, I couldn't find it cheaper anywhere else, so... Dude, the stink... The stink bow, dude, you gotta be joking me, right? Where do you go? I lit him up. But I, yeah, I have to say, guys, this is, this is gonna, this is game changing. Like, like that is so much quicker. Like, I won't lie. I will probably. Where'd this man go? Bro, how many shots does he take? Where did he go? In here. Finally, we got him, boys. We got him. We got the man. Yeah. But I I'm telling you guys, this is this is game breaking. Like. Let me just edit real quick to show you guys. I mean, like, I moved the controller with that. Same with that. And that is so much cleaner. Like, that is so much cleaner and faster. Like, and I'm not just saying that to, like, oh, gyro aiming is awesome. You know, it's new and it's awesome. Like, that is actually game breaking. I will definitely be using the gyro functions for, for a while now. Like, this is... I, I just, I can't, I can't express it enough. This is insane. Like, being able to do that, I can see how that would save me from so many situations. Why was there a guy there?
Oh, he's over there. Oh, that's a bird. Where's he at, though? This guy was just here. My dude was just here. But yeah, that... That is insane. It even helped there, I won't lie. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. You guys, you do not understand how well that helps out and precise especially with like my aiming and like that would go for anybody's like oh my gosh no wonder i've been getting crapped on some of these lobbies that is actually insane Oh, yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Guys, you, like, you do not even understand. You do not even understand. If you're not using gyro, if you're not using gyro, be using gyro. Like I said, guys, gyro aiming is the way to go. So if you are not using gyro aiming, you better be using gyro aiming. Get you a PS4 controller. If you can't get a PS5 one, I would recommend a PS5 one. That was insane. That was in some insane kills that I did, especially, especially first time. Those are some pretty decent settings. I'll go over it slow real quick here again, um, or I'll go through it fat, uh, slow. That way you guys can see the settings. Settings are pretty standard. I didn't really mess with anything. Um, like I said, pretty standard. Pretty. Uh, those are pretty much the standard settings that you will have, and those work almost great. You, again, tweak it to your preference or anything like that. Be sure to like and subscribe as always, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.